I really didn't expect this to be a series, but it is now, so hope you enjoy it. The Rise and Fall of is a series now. Here's a brief rundown about how Crash was made. So Crash was created by Naughty Dog, and uh, before that, they made this game called Keith the Thief, and it didn't really get recognized. Yeah, I don't blame them. It, it's not really that infamous. So then, all of a sudden, Naughty Dog made a platforming game, and boom, Crash was born. So Crash was eventually put on the PS1, you know, when the first game was finished, and if you looked at the PS1, you could tell that Sony needed their own Sonic, their own Mario. Oh, and yeah, Crash was the mascot of the PS1. I until Spyro kind of took that place. So, Crash eventually did really well and actually competed with Mario and Sonic for a short amount of time. Now, by itself, Crash 1 doesn't really offer much in terms of 3D platforming, but really, it was one of the first 3D platformers, and for a first game, it gets the job done. Then Crash got a sequel, and another one, and both of them were improvements from the first game, like big improvements. Now, the 2000s were rolling around, and Naughty Dog lost the rights to Crash Bandicoot, because they only had the rights to make a few games, so another company ended up owning Crash. That company being Traveler's Tales, and they created Crash Bandicoot Wrath of Cortex. And it's not that good. So to start, this game starts with an ice level. One of the worst types of levels in a platformer. And most of this game is literally just vehicle levels. Vehicle levels. And for your sanity, do not, I repeat, do not 100% this game. So, since Crash Bandicoot Wrath of Cortex didn't do as well, the same developers gave it another go. Crash Twin Sanity! So, instead of what you're used to with this series, this game is more of an open world, and, well, it's also technically a collectathon. Technically. So, is Crash Twin Sanity good? Yeah, it's pretty good. Except for the fact that it's a little bit glitchy. See, the developers didn't really get finish the game in time, you know? So, they had to kind of rush it. But hey, at least we got a cool fourth wall break out of it. Come now, as we explore a new dimension! It should have been two new dimensions, but we ran out of time. Now, after Crash Twin Sanity, kids were starting not to really care about the series anymore. So, the company that Crash was handed down to after Crash Twin Sanity redesigned Crash so that he would look cool for the kids. Crash of the Titans, aka the redesign game. Redesign the formula, redesign the background, redesign the characters, redesign everything. Everything gets a redesign. <laughs> Redesigns aside, I actually like this game. It's actually pretty fun and good. But it's just not a good Crash Bandicoot game since there are so many formula changes. Nah, it's Mind Over Mutant you have to watch out for. So to start, the cutscenes are all in different styles for no reason at all. And eh, the cutscenes don't matter, let's get straight into gameplay. Well yeah, it kinda plays like a sequel to Crash of the Titans. It's just that I, I, it just feels weird controlling a character with this animation. Now, there's no real reason to get Crash Mind Over Mutant other than the fact that Dr. Embryo returns. Yes, he actually returns in this game. But other than that, this game sucks. And then after that, Crash went on a long hiatus. Until 2017 when he got a remaster. <sighs> Thanks for reviving the series, Activision. Thank you so much. Now it's the rise and the fall and the rise of Crash, not the rise and the fall of Crash. 
Thanks for making an actually solid remaster. You know what? Thank you so much. You ruin everything, Activision. What'd you think of the video, guys? Comment down below. You know the drill. Follow me on Instagram and subscribe to my channel. Now, if you'll excuse me, I am freezing. My room is very, very cold, and I don't know why. And I had to stay in here for two hours while I was doing this video. So, if you don't mind, I'm going to go out of here before I freeze to death. Bye!